In case you missed it, the law enforcement, local doctors, and even first responders are making some changes to deal with the spike in illegal migration. Yeah, it's all part of the follow-up to my special assignment on the massive increase in injuries sustained by immigrants crossing into the U.S. over the border wall. KTSM spoke with uh, Salem Park's fire chief, Daniel Medrano, who says last year they saw their largest amount of rescues, right about 230. The chief showed us uh, the changes they have had to make to one of their Humvees to be able to work with Border Patrol when they come across the individuals that either fell from the barrier or got stuck up there. This uh, entire back area used to be a pump. Uh, we still have the pump in case we need to uh, retrofit it uh, back, back to its original use. We used to have a pump for brush fires, and now we have the, the same, same style skid. Uh, out in the northern district, we don't have to worry about the hills or the mountains as much, so we don't have the technical rescue stuff on there. But uh, again, we're able to get into some pretty, um, uh, pretty harsh terrain uh, with this vehicle. Chief Medrano also tells me to, uh, they see the majority of their rescues in Anapra and desolate areas in Santa Teresa. Your Waze traffic check.